Speaking of risky investments, a lot of pension funds are still struggling to make up investment losses from the financial crisis. But rather than scale back risks following those declines, many funds are getting aggressive. Pension funds are employing a strategy called risk parity within their portfolios. The tactic has been around for years, but it's regained popularity as pension funds try to increase bond returns in a low interest rate world. Essentially, pension funds are borrowing money to invest in bonds to boost returns, the very strategy that contributed to the global debt bubble and led in part to the financial crisis. Larry, with the risks of investing in bonds heightened more now than in the past few years, will pension funds and therefore people's retirement savings get soaked once interest rates rise and cause ripple effects throughout the financial markets? Yeah, I think you know you and I were talking about that the other day when we were talking about this, this meeting where uh, it's almost another indicator. The amount of pension, the amount of asset managers in the world that are using leverage to juice up returns. So the fact that that's creeping back into the market uh, worries me somewhat. Uh, the first stages of it are probably no big deal. But if it increases uh, uh, anywhere near, the, if, well, first of all, you're not going to get back to 2007 leverage. Leverage so I think people. But if you get halfway back, that's, that's a really bad sign. But in terms of in terms of um, its impact for the markets. You're right. I mean, uh, if you look at the amount of um, pensions and college endowments that are in fixed income, I think it's 60, 70 percent of assets are in fixed income, very small amounts, uh, record low amounts of equities. So uh, you do have a very, very dangerous situation with the amount of capital that's in, uh, in bond funds today. And the problem is if, if we do have a, a, a period where uh, the, the, the markets really take off and um, you know, risk on applies and then bond yields can really skyrocket, that's when uh, pension funds and big, big uh, college endowments could take enormous losses because they're so over-invested in, uh, in fixed income. Yeah, I mean, when do you think this trade has the potential to blow up? I mean, I know some of it could be tied to the Fed acting, but the Fed's not going to act for some time, and it seems to have sort of killed the, the so-called bond vigilantes because it's such a large buyer of treasuries. Uh, I, I mean, what's your sense? I think that it all comes down to Europe. The, the crazy thing, Jennifer, and I talk about this in my next book, the crazy thing is as you fix Europe, as Europe normalizes, that actually creates a situation where bond yields in the U.S could skyrocket because the, if you think of all those countries over there, Italy, Spain, Greece, Portugal, Ireland, these credits used to be very strong. Now they're weak. So investors over there want to own treasuries. So there's been a bid, uh, an inter international bid for treasuries because of the weakening credit quality of other countries. Once we fix Europe, once it's all done, maybe by next year, the year after, that creates a situation where that natural buyer, that buyer that's been there for 2010, 2011, 2012, uh, that's when uh, treasury rates could really skyrocket. So I don't see that for uh, until 2014 or so. Larry, thanks so much for coming on the program. I, I so appreciate it, and I hope to speak with you again soon. And don't forget, it's uh, at ConvertBond on Twitter. That's right. Always, always trying to get in a plug, right? Uh, that's Larry McDonald, the Chief U.S. Equity Fixed Income and Political Policy Strategist for New Edge.